so we are going to start our new chapter that is lesson number 5 our needs okay so let's uh, before starting this chapter let me ask you one question what are our needs basic needs yes all will be knowing that we are uh, we need food for living then air to breathe water to drink cloth to wear and shelter to live so we need many things to live right these are the basic needs of human beings so children let's study one by one in detail each need okay are you ready okay let's go first is the air can you live without air children can you live without breathing no we cannot live without breathing so we cannot live without air we need air to breathe so children what happens while you are breathing while you breathe while breathing we take air into our lungs plants and animals also need air to live right we need fresh air to keep ourselves healthy also yes children so children uh, this is what is air the air which is surrounding us is what is helping us to live now i'm going to ask you one question you should listen carefully and answer you should tell who am i i am all around you see invisible though i be many gases mix to form me guess who i am i am air so free so what is this answer the answer is air next so it it was all about air understood children let's move on to the next basic necessity need of our life okay so that is water water is another one of the basic needs of human beings animals and plants we cannot live without water do we can we so you should not waste water and you should use it carefully okay we get water from different sources like rain well river pond lake etc so children can you tell me where do you get water from same that will be from rain well river pond lake etc what are the use of water children we use water for drinking cooking washing bathing and farming okay so let's do an activity also you have what all you have to do is take two plants potted plants and take uh, place one near the window water ev the, that plant every day regularly and a uh, place the one which uh, the other one do, uh, you should you don't uh, give water to the other plant okay so understand children take two potted plants place the bo both the potted plants near the window water one plant regularly and do not water the other plant what will be what will happen children children just uh, see the uh, activity and observe the obs your observe it and tell me in the next class one week time i'm giving do it now right now and after one week next week that is we will see what happens what is the change in that plant okay 
okay then so let's move the next thing which we want to need which we need in our life is food right so all of us have take food regularly right we all need food to live what does food do children it helps us to grow and keep fit it gives us energy and strength they help us to work and play we should eat different kinds of food like cereals pulses meat milk fruits vegetables to stay healthy okay children so you should and also uh, the uh, one thing which we all we all are now very familiar is you uh, immunity so this food food should will give you immunity so what did you had your in your breakfast today children can you tell me now okay so food is what is the food what is the use of food it helps us to grow and keeps us fit it gives us energy and strength it helps us to work and play we should eat different kinds of food like cereals pulses meat milk fruits and vegetables to stay healthy so next coming on to the next need of our life is the clothes so all of you are aware of clothes right we all wear clothes to why we wear clothes to cover our body from heat cold rain and dust if uh, we uh, if we get cold what will happen we will feel fell sick so clothes protect us from heat cold rain and dust we use different kinds of clothes right children for different seasons and for different weather conditions clothes cotton clothes are good for summer season right and for hot weather they keep us cool right woolen clothes are good for winter season and for cold weather they keep us warm clothes are made of silk also silk clothes are fairly light and comfortable to wear our clothes are made of different materials collect uh collect the your each clothes and list them as cotton silk or woolen like you will be having uh, for for example for girls girls will be having some frock which is cotton then some uh, skirts and top will be there which is silk and some other type of kurtas and all will be there which will be either cotton silk or wool and so list them all and similarly for boys also boys there's no more options right you are having only one either pant or shirt or trousers and shirts so uh, list them based upon you will see whether you, you what all clothes you are having which is cotton silk and woolen list them three and list them in the in these three categories okay children so that's about clothes that is clothes cover our body clothes protect our body from heat co- cold rain and dust it uh, cotton clothes are good for summer season and for hot weather they keep us cool woolen clothes are good for winter season and for cold weather they keep us warm okay now next is shelter we all have a place to live in right the shelter we pl- make to live in is called a house so you all will be having a house the house is what is shelter where everyone is living what do a house do it protect us from heat cold rain thieves wild animals right when you are in your home no wild animals will attack you 
when you are in a home you will f- f- will not f- uh, uh, have uh, um, get the rain hmm? and no thieves will attack you right so houses are <coughs> mainly of two types there are two types of houses pakka house and kacha house houses made of brick stone cement steel are called pakka house they are very strong houses made of mud wood straw leaves etc are kacha house kacha house are not very strong name any four things that you like very much in your home house children like my for example my favorite things in my house is tv fridge washing machine and mobile so like this you might be having your four favorite things write it down in your textbook okay next in cities there are many types many uh, types of houses like in cities some houses are built one upon the another they are called apartments each apartment has many flats okay many families can live in an apartment okay so this is the all about the basic needs of our life so children thank you for listening the class and if there is any doubt regarding any portion uh, ask me okay then uh, so thank you uh, have a nice day and stay safe